We're early. So, mic check, Jeff. I just wonder how. Can you guys hear Jeff? What the time lapse on that? I've never used the time lapse, so I'm kind of excited for the time lapse. Find out today. All right. So, what are we doing, babe? We just. Your idea was, uh, if you guys don't like something. Um, this piece Jeff did. And you want to customize it or. Level up. Level up your artwork. You could leave it like that. That could be a finish all on its own. Mm -hmm. Or you could cover it in resin. Or if you like the shiny and the matte, that's up to you. So. I was given this stencil by a friend of mine um, so that we could find this type of plastic. If anybody knows this type of plastic where we can get some, like big sheets, that would be awesome. Thanks. Um, so you can have any kind of stencil you want. This one just happens to be fun and mandala. Is that a mandala? Mandala? A little bit mandala. Um, and it's obviously smaller than your canvas here. So what I suggest is just slipping a little piece of paper right underneath there. Um, you could do um, a couple different ones. You can do small ones. That's That's depending on how much control you have over your paint. Your spray paint, um, I would definitely do it because spray paint goes everywhere. Make sure you put it just, you don't want to mess up your, your piece here. You don't cut off anything. So I sprayed a little bit of, a uh, little bit of this Super 77 on there just before and let it dry a little bit. So, tack it down a little bit. Pick some color. I think I'm going to go with this uh, Shake Well That's Surgery. Cool. It's called Surgery. This is a great color. It's by maybe Montana. It's sugary, but maybe sugary. Sugary? Maybe surgery. Is it sugar? It's like. Okay. Sugar, 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 sugar. Sugary? Sugary? Maybe it's either. All right. So I'm going to start. I'm just dusting it because I'm, I don't want, I don't want it to just really saturate it because it will, if you spray paint that, if you, you know, if you really saturate that, it's going to go underneath your stencil and you don't want that. So just barely get in there. And if you have a, uh, A heat gun that makes it even better. I would kind of just hold it back just a little bit because you don't want to you don't want to mess with your stencil. It'll warp your stencil if you put too much heat on there. You just want to kind of dry it just enough to where it's still a little tacky, so your paint will stick. So don't fully saturate. Yeah, I would just kind of mist it on. Right, TG? All right, now let's do... How's the volume in the sound, everybody? Some of this awesome color here. Punk Pink mm -hmm. by Montana. I'm just going to kind of... I'm glad the sound is good. Thank you guys for showing up and watching with us today. All right, we're gonna put some orange on here, but to make it a little bit more, like some of these bright colors, like this orange and this yellow, need a little bit of a white background. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna give it just a little help so it shows up. 
Are they translucent? Not really translucent, but you know, a lot of a lot of those uh, fluorescents kind of are. I mean, I've never really seen a really super, you know, opaque vibrant, material. opaque. Yeah. Um, but maybe there is some out there. I'm, I mean, you can kind of tell. That's look, look. If you sand, if you just put this on there, it's not very opaque. So a little opaque, but not as much as I would want for something like this. You could just fill it in, but Jeff is establishing some can control with our caps. Hey, Julie. Hi, Tracy. Hello, everybody. So you like that cap dust for this? Well, it really regulates the paint. Like, it really... Uh, it's a little easier to control the amount of paint coming out in, uh, with this cap. So it's a low pressure cap. See how the yellow is actually kind of showing as green because it's translucent -y. Great color choices. That pink just kind of dulled out, didn't it? Yeah, let's do it a little. Well, it's when you're just putting so many other colors. It is a nice green for sure. Joseph, are you asking about white or clear glitter glass? Mommy, 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 and I drift. I'm scared. <sighs> um, I don't have white. I don't know that they make white, but I have silver. That may be the best bet. White may not be as shiny, shimmery. Can you guys hear, like, I feel like whenever the mic hits my chin, like, can you hear that or do you guys not hear it? Because I, like, put my head down and I can feel it touching that. I'm just pinching Yes, my... Most of the time, I use the clear because it'll show whatever color is under it. Will you have this stencil in your shop? No. <laughs> that's that's from Michael's or Hobby Lobby or something. We could cut a mandalish flower. Yeah. yeah, we'd have to make one. All right, so I thought about... My pleasure. Anytime. Putting just kind of off to the side, like just a couple here, just kind of do, do, do. I like that. But I don't, I don't like that. We not have. We don't have our, uh, our big one. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Just to kind of give it a little bit of a fun little contrast. Be all right. 
看弹奏。All right. We're going to kind of Michelle, it is a dried resin piece that we are stenciling over. I'm missing Jeff's filigree to fancy up some pores. I still remember the skull. Does Jeff have any plans on doing another skull in the country? Look at how fun. I'm surprised that didn't like scratch. Cause that that gold paint, it, it lays down so like it it's it is very easy to scratch. And it's crazy because you can look at it from one, one angle and just kind of see those. And then up front, boom, all the other little ones come towards the front. It's like a flower bow. I think that would be awesome. Like, I think it would look good if you just resined over that. But did you say that you think that the... The gold dulls out when you put resin over it. I don't think we've done chrome under resin, so we should give that a shot. I'll flood this later. Yeah. Hello, Tim. So you didn't answer if you have any plans on doing another filigree scrolling. Oh, I don't know. I I could. I don't see why not. They're saying. They're missing your filigree. Ah, you see? This is another piece that we're not super pumped with. I'm going to try to do one of my, uh, one of my uh, new, this isn't on the, dang it, moved. It should be a little bit more that way. I thought... Oh, I see because of that. Dang it. So this is a new stencil that Jeff's debating on posting. This, this would be an actual neon stencil. What's up, Karma Cat? Long time no see. How are you? You said this would be an actual stencil. And I thought that I thought that I could tape these together, but it did not work as I planned, so I'm taking them apart. Um, yeah, because this is just going to break. We never have scissors, so. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to put this down and do the color. I'm going to do a light. Well, let's do this one first. We're going to do a light color just to get an, a hint of where it's at. Hey, Lisa. We're going to have to do this again because spray paint. Very important to not skip this step because yeah. over spray is serious. Hi, buddy. Happy Thursday. All right. So I'm just going to do a dark purple or a dark pink just to kind of get an idea of where the, the lip is. Emma says she never knows where her scissors are either. The kids steal them and they end up in the garden. All right, so there's this that. Is something amazing. So what I want to do now, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna paint over this with this. Where is the? Is that? Is that the the one? Really? The one? What's the the bright fluorescent? 
Now give me that one over there. That's very. Wow. We're going to see how this goes. Because this stuff is very trans. Yeah, this is very translucent. But I still want to be able to see this line, so that should work. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to trace this line. Just so I can have a glow. Which I don't think... Look at that. It already looks kind of neon, doesn't it? It does. But that glow is not enough for, for what I want. Not enough glow, yeah. Yeah. about this cap and why you're using this one? Um, it's, it's more of a, a low pressure cap. Um, it really, it, it, it gives it a nice consistent flow of paint and it's a, it's called a thin line. Um, you can see very nice and controlled line. It's not like spraying <laughs> This cap's been on there for a minute, so you get a little bit of a stutter. But if you had a brand new cap, it's a very nice line. You could do lettering for your garage sale signs with this, and it would look halfway decent. Right. Hello, this, this is not a bad glow. I, I don't. I don't hate it. It's still glowing. Tressa, G. So. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to take the fatter, the fatter one. This is basically the actual neon part. You got some, sounds like some puppies racing out there. We have, this is more of a fatter of the neon tube part. The neon tube part. So we want this to be a little darker. We'll use this one. All right. It's going to cover up your. This I know, line, yeah? but we're going to put a white line down on there. Let's shoot this one. And don't worry about if it goes up under, it'll just give it more of a glow. Every loud everything drives by when we're alive. Every time. Well, and we have the window open, so. Why did you cover your initial line? Like, why did you put it if you're going to cover it? Because I wanted to see where I... Um, lining up for lining up and making that glow you know what i could do is just leave this and just line up that hold on we're gonna try something i haven't tried this yet but the way i design these is they're they're all cut on 16 by 20 Perfect. So you can line these up and I'll, I, I'm going to put that little, this little guy, this is the, the highlight and it's very difficult to see when you are trying to line this up. So I'm going to line it up on the That's actual really stencil. Yeah. If you just line the stencil up, it should be. Yes. It's inside of there. So now what we're going to do is take the white. Are you making sure this one is fully down? It doesn't really have to be, I don't think, either. I mean, any any glow you get helps. 
because of neon. Would it help anybody if we showed you how to use these stencils with like regular paint and not airbrush or spray paint? I'm in a Ooh, that's neon -y. Yeah, but it's still dark. Oh, you know what I can do? Let's do this. We're going to put this over that. And so this will become brighter. This will definitely become brighter. And then if you want, you could take a white uh, Posca pen, paint pen, and fill your white in. But this is going to really make it Neony. Neony. Hey, Clara. Are you going to make these stencils available? I can. I definitely can. I was just testing them. These are just in the test phase, so. See, if I would have if I would have taken some white and did this on the first one and then sprayed this this one, it would really it would, that glow would really come out. While he's drying, Dad, this is the one we did earlier. This is the first one. Oh, that. Oh, I didn't, and I didn't do a, a, uh, a shadow. This might be too hot. Yeah, yeah that's too. Like this, this is picking up that paint. You have to wait till this is dry. This paint, there's too much layered paint. But you can see there, it looks mm -hmm. good. <laughs> Look at that. I just picked up paint with my hand. Okay. We so will that's fun. Revisit this one when it dries. Look at that. Look at that. That gold is already dry. Hey, Joe. Look at that you could yeah the background on that one wasn't really doing anybody any favors i think the background being a little bit on the red side was just a little too close to the pink i want to learn how to do it with the spray paint airbrush to keep the stencils coming we will roxy thank you for the feedback And it looks like you might get um, some of your doodle. Well, it's just, it's hard not to doodle with something like this because it, for me, it makes it feel unfinished when it's like this. A good idea, Clara. Hey, Sue. We've had doodle withdrawals. Slack and be. <laughs> People miss the doodle bug. But there, there you have it there. <clears throat> Grab 
When I'm doing this, I shouldn't have done that second row. You said you love doing this. You should not have done the second row. No. <laughs> doing that second row. This is this. I should have just kept doing this and not this one. Oh. But it looks fine. It looks really good. There's a lot of ways you can level up your pour if you don't like what it looks like. And this is just one way that we like to do that. Hey, Joe. That's fine. Will you just hold this for a minute? Yeah. Sorry, y'all. forgot I'm recording on uh, on my laptop or my iPad. Let me see. Oh. Close. That's the first, the neon. <laughs> it's still recording. I did a time lapse. So I'll finish this and then we'll see what that looks like. Resin art in. So I'll be uploading more interferences to the website. Is this one of your stencils? Um, no. Th this is not one of our stencils, but we can probably figure out how to cut a similar one. I'm not good at designing stuff like this, but um, I'm sure we can find one that we can modify and customize a bit. Yeah. That just brightens it up so much. Whoops. You want me to wipe that off? No. What kind of pins are you using? Uh, this is a Posca pin. Hi, Sandy from Vegas. How are things out there? Super hot, I'm sure. Hi, Carrie. How have you been? Am I doing too many? I, I think I am. I did. I shouldn't have done that one. <laughs> you can barely even see it, so just go over with one. Yeah, that orange is not a hot orange like this one is, though. Wow, super wow. This is crazy good. You just did an interference one, Julie. I'm sure it's amazing. What kind of pen is the new pen? Uh, this is a Molotol, all for one.
is a little transparent, but it still does the job. Thank you, Chibi Chula. It's blending in with the orange. <laughs> Who needs electricity when there are interference paints? I mean, if I had to choose between the two. You should totally share it, Julie. We would love to see it. Do you know when the prune stencil will be available? I know nothing about being able to download and create from a file. Um, we will this weekend, maybe. When do you think you would have time to cut the prunes? Um, we can. We just get, we got to get that new. The new, what do you call it? Classic. Yeah. And then we'll have it. No, nope, not a problem. Hi, Steve in Valencia, California. Roxy will have, um, we'll try to have those this weekend. on the website for you. I love how that gold just glows in some areas and is almost not even noticeable in others. I love that the paint pens are bringing the design back to the front of the honeycomb. Well, I'm not going to go over the gold just areas. Saying. Like, I'm just going to stop, like, right so that it kind of goes behind it. Makes it a little bit more three-dimensional. But, yeah. That looks sweet, Jeff. Thank you. I think the center of this should be gold. It's a little. I think this should be like. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, Jeff will get to work on this, um, a similar, it won't be this one, mandala flower. Everyone's really loving it, B. Thank you. Question, do you guys have a laser cutter, engraver, or CNC? Because I think you guys could do fabulous things with custom cutouts. So we are members of a makerspace that has a CNC and a laser, and we use those. So Jeff will design something. Like he designs the lip stencils and the honeycombs and working on a paisley and then we use that to cut it you press stop on there one day we will have our own cnc and laser love watching jeff doodle long time viewer love everything you do first time catching an actual live well thank you for being here roxy it really means a lot to us this is amazing. Now I'm going to have to get my Poscas out. I get mesmerized watching Jeff and <laughs> Thank you. See, 
soon, Jenny. You guys don't forget we have classes coming up. You can find them on our website. Thank you, Sue. Lisa says, this makes me, um, I may never just spray black over a bad pour ever again. Carrie in Australia says, I wish spray cans would behave nice like that for me. I bought some Rustoleum stone spray paint for my sand and background and it went everywhere, all over where I wanted it on as well as on me. That stone spray will fully get everywhere. But that's the best thing I found to use for sand. There are, really are so many ways to use a bad pour. What are you doing, precious boy? What are you doing? Stretching? Cool, cool, cool. Exactly, Lisa. Get better spray cap. So, the standard Rustolian spray cap, like this, but we use a lot of different kinds. And then there's an adapter. I would love it if this white pen was just a little thinner than that that mm -hmm. that would really look nice but you get what's happening Gail I'm so glad you received your order and you're excited with everything that you got Betty said Jeff has amazing controls Thank you. Um, they want to know. Oh, here's your king. <laughs> Found it. I knew I had a bright pink. Oh, well. Sandy wants to know how your back is feeling. Um, it's a little. Um, a little irritated, but not too bad. I just keep standing up. This is what's killing me. I keep feeling like it's like brushing, like they can hear it. Um, they said that they couldn't, so I don't know. I wonder what it would do if I just did. So this is over this. Yeah, one day we'll have our own laser and CNC. I agree, Jenny. Soon. I'm going to try something very... Stephanie said I would 100% buy that neon stencil. You guys can't see he's covering up his white lines. Yeah, it's just, I, I probably should have done this first. Hey Liz, how are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> I know, Liz. Welcome. Hello, Jesse. Yeah. 
I think so I just dropped it down too far. Yeah. Color, so it'll look more like... No, that's a terrible one. <laughs> Has Jeff done a video on how to use the different spray nozzles? A uh, long time ago. But I think what we're going to do is do uh, just do three. We're going to make a pack of just three, which is it'll just consist of uh, this one, a fat one. Like, Not the Lego? I guess it would be a Lego. It, it, a Lego is very it's it's still controllable because of the dot that you can make with that thing. Um, but it's a little bit more, a little bit more paint comes out with the, with the Klaus, what we call the Klaus control. It's, it's called a liner, which is very low pressure so that, you know, really nice pressure. It's not just like coming out and spraying everywhere. It's, it's just a very control cap with the other one. It's a little bit more paint, but still a little control. And then just a, uh, what do you call it? The adapter for the Rust-Oleum caps. Yeah. We don't have any Rust-Oleum out here, but I'll show you. Here's a Rust-Oleum. Uh, it's like this. Basically. Hello, LaSalle. Did I say that right? What you would do is, this is the, the adapter. Put your cap on first. Do not put this on without a cap over it, or you will be getting paint everywhere. On your ceiling. Just push down until you get paint. And then you have an adapter and you can put other caps on that as well. What's that lip in the back? Was that in a video? Oh. Um, I was going to tell you to show that. It's, um, that's a piece I'm working on. I'm filming it, so there will be. Oops, um, I've got to do some airbrush. I think that's it. That's good. Thank you, all 50 of you that are still in the room. Um, if you are interested in a mandala stencil, leave me a thumbs up or a comment and let me know. Sandy says, I want to come live in your studio and paint and play for 48 hours straight. <laughs> It would be easy. So, you guys, um, yeah. Leave me a comment and a thumb under this video if you want us to create these stencils and post them on the website. Jeff will be doing some design work on stencils this weekend. And I know a lot of you guys want the Paisley as well. So, we'll be working on that. And I'm sure Vamp will hold us to it. So, uh, yeah, if you have any questions, let us know. Shoot me an email if I missed something from this video. And get to doodling. If you're in a rut and you aren't sure what you want to create and you haven't created any, anything in a while and... You just know you need to get back in the groove. Do some stencils. Do some doodles, especially if you have some pieces that maybe haven't sold or that you're not a fan of. That's always, always, always an option. Anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back tomorrow with another live. Have an awesome Thursday and an awesome Friday if you're in Australia right. with my little mic. What's up? <laughs> Beautiful. Did you already say be kind to one another because you never know what somebody's going through? All right. Well, I just said it. And always remember, we do the test. So you don't have to. I'm not for you. Ew. Ew. Not for Stretch. Anyways. Are we? Say something? 
All right, cool. Uh, we miss you guys too. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, you can get the spray paint caps, the class, the stencils, all on our website, artistsilldead.com. See. And so yeah, we'll see you guys in Indiana. Bye. I said bye. <laughs> Is that creepy? Yeah.